So I've always been fascinated by, by really how, how this molecule is, is maintained. And it's, it's a love that goes back to high school. There had been a great deal of work in the early 20th century, really kind of um, determined that chromosomes were the, the unit of heredity. Later in the century, it became clear that DNA was the molecule that was the, the thing that held the hereditary information. A lot of what we've come to appreciate in time since then is really about the scale of, of the problem. Each cell in our body has somewhere around six billion base pairs of DNA and every cell cycle those need to be copied. It really is an extraordinary feat. It, it's, it's the equivalent of uh, in your lifetime you synthesize several light years of DNA. The machinery that copies it is incredibly sophisticated and complicated. There are these little nanobots, little enzymes that are going around constantly checking on it, making sure that it's not damaged, that it needs to be fixed. What's been uh, quite clear over the last few decades is that we're really getting very high resolution understanding of all of the processes associated with how the, the, the DNA is repaired, how it's replicated, how it's transmitted. It's about trying to understand how they're all integrated together I think is really a, a, a big question for the future.